Hi everyone, it's me Keith. Welcome to another computer related tutorial. For more tips and tricks regarding these topics, please feel free to subscribe and hit on the notification button. Okay, let's go. Hi everyone, another tutorial. This time we are going to create localhost on Windows 10. Pull out Chrome, search SAMP download. Click the first result. Choose the latest version. Start downloading the file. Open the downloaded file. Right click, run as administrator. Ignore the warning. Click start menu. Type msconfig. Go to Tools, choose Change UAC Settings, click Launch, drag downwards, OK. Continue installing. Be sure everything is checked. This is the path. Uncheck. Wait for it to finish. Start control panel finish. Start Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, and Mercury as an option. Check Explorer. This is the path of your SAMP. We have a lot of files, but don't mind them. Close the control panel. Just look for the htdocs folder. This is where we are going to save everything. Create a shortcut on desktop. Rename the file. Let's check if it's in there. There you go. These are the files. We are going to save all our websites in here for localhost. Let's test if this one is working. Open your browser. Type localhost. It works. Let's test this one again. Still working with index.php. This time we are going to delete everything. Now let's refresh the browser if it's working. There. So it's empty now. Next is we are going to create a dummy website. Click new. Text document. Name it as index.html. Yes. If the file extension is not working in your computer, type folder options. Choose file explorer options. Choose view. This should be unchecked. Because if you are going to check it and click on apply, you are not going to see anything here. So uncheck, apply. There you go. Click OK. We are going to put codes here. Right click. 
open your text editor. For me, I'm using Atom Text Editor. Close other tabs. The basic codes for HTML. Let's save this one. Close it. Now let's refresh our page. It's working now. Let's try to change the format of the font by going back to index.html. Choose Adam. Save it. Refresh. There you go. It's working well. So that is how you are going to create local host in Windows 10. Subscribe for more updates, tips and tricks, including tutorials. Bye for now. Okay guys, I hope you have learned from that one. So if you have any requests and other topics that you have in mind, please feel free to message us. And of course, hit the subscribe and notification button for more updates. Okay, so bye for now.